world of 21st century where there are all energy crises. So we, the students of OP Jindal Modern School, Hisar, have done something which can decrease that energy crisis. This is an osmotic power plant and its basic principle is the natural phenomena of osmosis. Water concentration to a region of lower water concentration. As you can see that, therefore we have to establish this power plant near a seashore where we can find both the sources. Now we channelize water from both the sources into two different chambers which are separated by a semi-permeable membrane. You can see this semi-permeable membrane. This is the most important part of the power plant as due to this membrane only all the processes of osmosis goes on smoothly. Now the process starts. Water enters into both the different chambers and as soon as it will start touching the membrane the process of osmosis will start and water molecules from the fresh water side will move towards the salt water side to eliminate that salt concentration to attain an equilibrium through this membrane by the natural process of osmosis. This will increase the pressure in the salt water chamber and the level of the water will start rising up thus gaining a potential energy. We will use that potential energy to generate electricity. We will channelize water through this outlet onto the turbine and as the turbine will rotate electricity will be generated. There are many big advantages of this power plant and one of them being the most important is that it's completely eco-friendly and there's no pollution at all. In a country like India we have a great coastal line so we can establish this power plant over there as most of the rivers also flow into the ocean only. Instead of the fresh water, we can use the sewage water also. As we know that there is a great problem of sewage disposal in India, so we can replace the fresh water with the sewage water also. It takes very less area as compared to other renewable sources of energy, that is the, uh, the solar power energy and the wind power energy. And it's area efficient, completely area efficient. And its global potential is estimated to be around 1600 to 1700 terawatt, which is really very impressive and can fulfill the requirements of up to 30,000 European houses. So it's completely green and clean form of energy. It just requires a bit of development and encouragement.